Hello everyone, uh, just thought I'd, was out here checking out some stuff on my truck and thought I'd show y'all what I've been doing to it. This is a 84 Dodge 250 and I've, uh, converted my 318 over to fuel injection, just fuel only, with a Mega Squirt 2. And you can see in here I've got a, uh, a Holly, actually a Holly TBI unit that I've removed the injectors from and then I uh, got a hold of a used Elder Brock Performer intake manifold and uh, milled some slots over the intake runners and welded some blocks on there so I could mount my uh, port injectors out here I got everything painted black so it's kind of hard to see stuff but see two injectors there back there same on the other side uh, one plug there that's off is for my uh, intake air temperature, which is uh, mounted on the air cleaner. As you can see, I'm still running the uh, Chrysler ignition, distributor, coil. I do have a uh, orange box. Over here is the uh, Mega Squirt relay board that has the uh, relays for the for the uh, computer, for the fuel pump, and also for the uh, fast idle solenoid which is mounted on the throttle body. I have the Mega Squirt mounted in the cab over here. See it there. Cable runs from I don't know if you can see that. It's from there over to the relay board. Everything connects up to the relay board. I'll pause this for now and put it back together and uh, we'll start it back up. Okay, I've got my air cleaner mounted back on there. And uh, of course, I had to mount a uh, lose a wall, wall bro fuel pump, brand new fuel, fuel lines using a Corvette. Uh, fuel filter slash regulator with a return line on it that saved me from having to run a return line all the way to the front. Did end up mounting an oil separator for the PCV since since there's no fuel running through the uh, where the carburetor used to be. I noticed I was getting a little oil puddling in the intake as uh, old motors tend to have a little bit of blow by. <laughs> this one's no different. So let's start it up. And this is the main reason I went on of this trouble was because of the carburetor. It was always a bit of a pain to start when it was cold, so. Now with the fuel injection, she starts right up. See, she runs a little uh, rich, right on a cold start. And that's about it. Uh, I'm really glad I did the conversion so far. And uh, worst case scenario is I put a carburetor back on it. But uh, so far, I don't think I will. I'm really happy with it. Thanks a lot.